Hello, hello, ladies and gents. This is Star Destroyer Gaming, back with some more Steel Division 2 here. Corelli in front. We're going to go ahead and pass the Soviets' turn and uh, see what they can do about their rather precarious situation. Let's see if they can save their airfield. But uh, they haven't really impressed me with the flexibility in thinking yet. So let's see what happens. Here we go. You know, they might actually be aware of the threat to their airfield. They are just, look at this, they're sending, oh man, I didn't shoot down any of them. They're just sending down wave after wave of planes at my, already, look at this. At my already clearly established air defenses. Is he going to do it again? Oh, here we go. These guys didn't have a chance to dig in all the way. And they're about to be attacked by at least these two rifle regiments. This will be tough, but this is the ideal unit, frankly, um, for this position because it does have its own or organic anti-tank guns. So I'd rather have no division get attacked while it's not dug in. Um, we can actually work with this here. Uh, and it just depends on whether they're going to use this. I'd rather them use this here. This would be better. Because if they use this, then this is going to be artillery for them. These two batteries are going to be 16 indirect fire guns coming at me, so I'd rather them be using these guys, but we'll see exactly what they do. Oh man, that is unfortunate. It looks like they've got Katushas in the mix. That is unfortunate. And they have AA cover over this area, so there's not a lot we can do about it. This is going to suck, uh, so let's make the best of it. Now I can see here that they actually did bring in an AA battalion instead of that other rifle regiment, which gives us a little bit of a reprieve here. So we won't be seeing as much of a flood of enemy troops, so let's see what we can do about it. Looking at their anti-tank guns, I'll say, let's, let me take, I'll take your entire stock. I mean, seriously, I need them all. Once again, no commander, no commander, no commander with a the headquarters of the second division. Come on, man. Come on, where are they at? Stop. 
Selvä. Selvä homma, Kapu. Valmiina taistoon. Kintorjujat valmiina. Mitä tehdään? KK valmiina. Defense line is a little rough, I will not lie. Um, let's take out one of these guys actually, so we can have a commander, or a, a leader here, even though we don't have any troops. Let's launch this and see what we can do with that, with all those Katushas that are going to be making their appearance. Oh, don't talk, Astria. Good positions for all you guys. Things are looking okay. We have to hold up for uh, about 16 minutes. First blood. Oh, you thought you could turn around. No, sir. Not allowed. Not permitted. Oh, these guys are having to turn too fast. Ooh, that was rough there. Oh, but they do have those uh, non-HE shells that they can use. Oh, look at that. They keep dismounting. They missed a chance. These guys are moving in with infantry support guns. This is working exactly as I intended it to. And oh god, here comes the first Katusha fire. That's the worst. That is the worst. It's just the worst. We got some of that there. We will put uh, some Kavari here. Just get some reinforcements up. My god. This is so sad. Wow, another gun wiped out. We're down to just one here. They sure took that fire seriously, because they are annihilating everything. Very nice. A little little micro here, a little micro there. We got this. 
Tasnet. I think we got a little an relax and dual developing. Let's get into the gun here to supplement our, our already heavy losses. And this guy up here. And then where are those uh, young fellas? Those excellent young men. These guys here. They will provide me with the appropriate support. Some chaos there to uh, strengthen those defenses. A small max of duel has developed. It is absolutely thrilling to watch. Let's see what happens when we get these Pioneer to go up a little. Let's see if we can get any positive results. Oh, time for you guys to fall back. I guess we can't force a surrender there. Or even any casualties. They emptied out all their guns. But to no effect. Whoa, well, lad, you do not have to use that. Ooh, maybe you should have used it. Oh no, it's fine. Just kidding. Hell no. At least on load. Ouch. Here too. Wow, I think a gun was here that just got vaporized. That is unfortunate. And so is this. That is very unfortunate. I'm gonna have that guy fall back shortly. Those anti tank rifle guys are not having as much of an effect as I hoped. Whoa. That would have been uh, inefficient to say the least. Looks like we lost Pioneer. Eh? That would be up here, it seems. Probably do some kind of superior attack. These guys will hold out as long as they have. As they have uh, frag HE shells, so that's the hold out. You need to fall back, sir. Same to you. Ooh, yeah, these guys need to get back up ASAP. Ten minutes. Can we do it? We're gonna see. Congratulations, you pioneer. You 
have now graduated to riflemen. You have served your purpose. Uh, you have done it quite well. You can now um, sit back and be riflemen rather than have to get all sweaty up in the front lines. We've got a little artillery to use. It'd be a shame to not use it at all. You know, these guys certainly are in need of some some help. Not a huge fan of the Russia Jakari, but I think I'll need to use them. Uh, just because we've got so many of them. back and that line there looks like it's folding a little bit and these guys are under heavy pressure all right you guys are also riflemen now good for you most people don't make it that far skills will be put to good use, I promise you that. Okay, and we have graduated to 20 minutes now of fighting needed to repulse them. It's a good thing we have those troops on the way, because that counterattack will be needed, and we need more troops here as well. Those guys Jakar will do well with their longer range rifles. I'm just waiting to see where the next Katusha barrage will fall. Oh, let's say both pioneer units were wiped out. Cut him up. That would be here. Yep. Kvar, you're down here. Fortunately, we have six guys here that we can just push right up. To reinforce. Fall back if you can. Uh, you cannot, though. That sucks. Katusha. How? I do not know. The mortars were not even firing. It must have been possibly here. No, I'm not sure where that could have been. From. <laughs> but congratulations to the lad, to the mad lad who did that. Very nice. It might be time to use some vehicle reinforcements as well. Fire will. You should retire to the rear lines.
Well, they keep spending on trucks, and we keep knocking them out pretty effectively. That's hurting them a lot. Oh, hell no. You can fall all the way back to the rear. You guys, we want you there. If they want to take these woods, they have to go through at least a couple of rounds of the Horyonta fire. Go ahead and fire well. Get them before they get to you. You got heavy pressure in uh, here, here, and here. Sorry, laddie, you're not getting through. I think these guys can use some help. Not the church. That church is so nice. That is close. You guys are actually out of flames here. Let's do that. That mix of forces should work. Snape Perry destroyed, we're on phase B. Still got plenty of Soviets dug into these houses here. And it's still coming up the hill. These guys should be pulled out now. Yeah, it looks like we're finally getting some of those TNT shells into action. Go get them, boys. You got this. Shikari proving their worth in close quarters, that's for sure. This is like my poor man's pioneer. I don't think I'd be remiss putting an AA gun there. And then uh, some pioneer units to shore things up. This is now available. Another commander can come out into action. We need Raj Shikari to shore this up. And we could also certainly use a leader here with more infantry to so put some uh, expert flamethrower troops in there.
And this is just to replenish losses. Both anticipated and current losses. Uh, let's try that mix of reinforcements. That should help. Casualties yet, a little surprising. Let's just have them charge straight through here. That should work. Well enough for my purposes. Kind of just becoming a thing where it's like, how many guys can you throw at the enemy? Here, infantry wise. The civilians have a lot, but so do we. If I get that in a position, we could get another kill. Of one of those, those, uh, Katushas. should do for that forest area. These guys are getting devastated by that uh, very unfortunate enemy fire. Could just they've run right out of units to use. for long enough. Let's pause again. No, you can go there. You don't need to advance like that. That section of the front looks good. Uh, these guys are going where they need to. I should be retreating. We'll get uh, 
this. That should help. And then I, especially because we don't have to worry about Soviet aircraft too much as of now. And then a lot of reinforcements for this. Sadly, looks like we've already used up all of our guns. They're all on the field or destroyed. Let's try that out. Um, and then since we have so many points left... Eight machine guns here doesn't do it. I don't know what will. Man, y'all should be pushing here, shaking my head. Well, I didn't want to stab them, but you're going to have to use your submachine guns. I feel like I can get more guys up to you. This wall of machine guns is stopping the Avatar Machine Swarm. It will stop them. It has to, right? Yeah, there you go. They're starting to fall back a little. These guys are just trying to the machine guns, but that's okay. He got dual surrenders from him. These guys are barely holding on. You guys should be able to fight off. You had the stroke of DP there. You got this. Come on. Come on now. Let's do that to saturate the target area properly. I think we're pushing it back there now. I almost never use these little 50 mil mortars, but I think they we might be able to get some good use out of them here And I'm getting frustrated at our inability to hold this area Ah, uh, look like they wiped out our gun up here Let's get pioneers here For the positions That should do me properly. Those last 
last two pioneers I sent here vanished for the trace, so I'm sure it'll be fine to send in more, right? We're seeing results here, though. They're having trouble stopping a wall of these fellas. at a cost of our maxims. And it's not that these are pumping shells at us. We have some enemy guns though that are in reach of us more so now than before. We've only had some more fire here to clean that out. Ah, unfortunately we lost our gun here that was going to shoot this up, so that's unavailable to us now. I think that they will have forced us out of this position, um, without a doubt. And that's not because that this unit that they're gonna win this battle, but because they'll have forced they'll have killed almost all the units available here. Almost all of the second division is committed on the field and is in bad shape, so Fall back if you need to. It's unfortunate. Looks like I've taken a lot of losses here. Use your defensive Faust. Got one. Very nice. Ah, uh, these reinforcements were destined for here, but were stopped completely by Katusha fire. That's the culprit there. can now we want to put pressure on him especially like their flanks here I don't know how much of an option it is here but just wherever possible that pressure is important a chance there to engage some of their guys in close combat. Some of their, their 85 mil guns. Oh, 
Tarvitaanko Hiitonan kanssa apua? Eight minutes, we can do it, fellas. Those Molotovs just don't have the same power as, uh, as a specially designed satchel charge, unfortunately. Andrusia somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, Maxim, you're about to meet your end, I think. About to meet your maker. This is the point where you start throwing the last forces into the battle. No machine guns left. Keep these three pine areas a reserve. Whoa, I lost a Kubel. Where is that? Oh, that would be here. Okay, good to know. Take frightfully heavy losses securing this, keeping this area under our control. But this area has stopped uh, coming under attack. Uh, so we'll see what the, we'll see what the future holds for us. Concentration here. These are their anti tank guns. Looks like they wanted to spend some money, but they just didn't have anything to deploy. And we're taking a surprisingly heavy toll on their Andrusias as well. Certainly a, a pleasant surprise. You can get back. I'm gonna start pulling everyone that doesn't need to be at the front lines back again. We don't need quite that same suicidal level of all-out attack as we were needing a minute ago. Although all this does help. Oh, 
Lachtedan. I think they may have run an infantry before I did, because they are not really pushing hard anymore. Silva. These guys have managed to get a whole lot of fire off. Time for you to fall back, sir. I think your time is done there. Turns out we didn't quite need those guys up there. Six minutes left. We are holding just fine. We all live here. Despite this devastating bombardment that we're being subjected to. Ouch. Man. One man, you get back. Let's preserve those squads for later use. Seems like though, since we get up there, they they find the range again. Let's hunt this way. See what we can find. Ooh, these guys against a mortar. The mortar's gonna win if they get a shot off on them. Starting to get rounds off again with those. They're getting lazy, clumping up their fellows here. These things do not have a lot of explosive power, do they? That's unfortunate. You guys have a commander in your group there. No, our gun is gone. We got one vehicle that was parked. Oh well, that's pretty sad. Nice. We're in among their artillery. Oh no, fall back. I cannot believe it actually took a hit from a 45 mil and survived, frankly. What's the armor on these? 15 millimeters. How did that not knock out this vehicle? That's a mystery. All the pressure you can put on him needs to be put on him. 
mies maassa. Mitäs nyt? Päät alas. Mies maassa. Even these things have a real chance of killing a vehicle. I'm gonna have a general advance there. Ordered. Odotetaan kohteita. Ooh, man, look at that. If only I had mortars. Golly. That's just sad. Ooh, man, that was close. They're engaging a relatively serious gun. All right, one, uh, 195 to 132. That's unfortunate. We took a lot of losses. That was kind of balanced. Some of these got a ridiculous amount of kills. Well, their Katushas also I know, did solid work on me. Look at that. Look at all those Andrushis destroyed. I never expected in a ground battle to have that kind of experience. We got kind of pushed to the brink there. If they didn't have, if they brought in the infantry instead of that AA unit that they did, we would have been wrecked because they would have had so much infantry coming in. But they brought in the AA instead and they ran dry on Inf. <laughs> Alright. Yoink, that's a lot of infantry squads. Ouch. Ouch, that's a lot of those. But we did manage to stop them and get 10 Andrushas. Holy cow. I'm absolutely not engaging these things without AA, but... Um, wow, we got... That's a lot of more than I thought would be possible. It looks like we're under attack again now. From a fresh rifle regiment and this guy's, which is what I was feeling. And then whatever else they want. Possibly these. Maybe these guys. thing is we just have almost no infantry <laughs> left to repel them but we have no aircraft either so we will duly duly uh, incorporate these fellas into the battle ah and they tried to use aircraft as their third unit so maybe we'll just be facing two battalions The AI plays as if AA doesn't matter. I don't think that deploying AA has any actual basis on the decision to send to send aircraft in. It doesn't seem to, at any rate. Okay, and actually, just one rifle regiment, 1537 men. Can we hold here? Um, it depends on how much that we knock out with the AT guns. If we knock out a lot with AT, then we will do fine. If you do not manage to get much, uh, if you do not manage to kind of savage their leading elements with fire, then we will have a hard time, I guarantee it. This guy can, can hunt up these fellows here. Our infantry is so, so sparse. Uh. Our infantry is so sparse. You guys head over there. And finally. Basically, just two Kavari available. And let's actually do the tank hunters. Oh, we don't have them. Surprise. Alright. 
Me, you guys, his job is to sit right there and kill everything you see. Let's see if we can make this work. I think we can. I think we can do this. It'll be tight, though. We need to get reinforcements immediately up here. Ooh, man. They have a whole bunch of guys coming up the hill, and we are not stopping them. We did not get anything coming up this road. And this is the main axis of their attack. Let's turn these off and try to kill some with the heat shells. Because, Lord, I saw their whole at least five vehicles come this way. And the question is, will they get out and disperse here, or run right at full speed into the trap? And we'll, can, our, can our reinforcements get there before a decision is made? Well, that's been answered for us. There are no fools. No attack here, seems. These trucks need to get up there ASAP. And a column here instead of here, again, not good for my AT defense placement. That's good, I don't want them to be able to see anything. <laughs> Let's cut them up if you can. I think the only other thing we could send. Well, yeah, we could put AA up here. And a leader. Trying to keep them out of the range of, of the Avota Machiki, but no, they're in trouble for sure. I can't believe these guys don't even exert an area of influence. And we still have this flag. Very interesting. I said victory would hinge on whether we were able to knock out a ton of the vehicles, and we knocked out nothing. We didn't get any vehicles. Here I was expecting some kills, here I was expecting a lot of kills. None of that panned out. Get nothing. Zilch. Troops, though, they just had to advance party, and that's it in that area. They weren't able to send in much else. Just that advanced party that I saw that wiped me out, and then nothing. Back in that works surprisingly to our favor. Attacking with one rifle regiment is not their strong suit. Follow 
Well, that was um, excellent, actually. I don't really know what to say about that. That was interesting. Probably have to cheeky. There you go. Come on, get some kills there. I beg of you, man. We need to get kills. Does. And uh, let's uh, let's see here. Where could benefit? From, where could I benefit from a leader? Here, the accuracy would be good, even though we're not really facing any attacks. And our last pioneer, I will put out from here to guard this flank. And then we will just await uh, reinforcements. Surrender. Surrender, you dogs. Get up. Oh, no. Wow, I should have deployed my last uh, guy here instead. No, run. They're coming after you. Alright, stop. About face. Is that uh, frag HG shell of yours? To some effect. Just felt like Lol, these guys aren't even doing anything. That's all they have left is this F to Machiki, I guess. These guys are displaying a surprising lack of inaction. These are all out to Machiki, I guess. Judging by the fact that none of them are bothering to engage me. Oop, it looks like our guys there perished in the line of duty. Russian captured and now Nazi controlled Finnish armored cars are doing well in this anti infantry. Oh no, you do, do not engage that. Oh hell no. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, kill that guy. What are you doing? Hmm. That seemed very close. Let you go ahead, but that's an SVT 40, and I am scared of them. Was that here? Did I lose them? They died. What happened to them? It must have been Sapiri. I've got actually literally nothing that was, that'll swing the front line. I always forget these guys don't have trucks. <laughs> you got them both, nice. Oh, 
Stop. Use your use your thing. Oh no. Oh we got it off. Congratulations, I think. I don't know what to say to that. You need to redeploy. That's what I'd say to that. Jeez. You can go truck hunting. <laughs> Hopefully you can do that. Finally, these AT guns are doing something. Very nice. Alright. Tribal Battalion 3 is available. Let's get a commander up here. Where are my mortars? No mortars? Oh yes, of course, we have some. Leaders too, nice. We have additional leaders at our disposal. Let's try that. That's a lot of units <laughs> that we can bring in there thanks to that. Okay, it looks like one guy survived their brave satchel charge attack. Ooh, man, that's a low blast. I think the truck hunting all of its best effect there. Ooh, man, this is uh, wiped away. Was it just that one Abdul Machiki? And that was all I needed to take care of? So it seems like that's the case. And I don't think I need to deploy any more reinforcements, so... We'll leave it the way it is. That's actually a pretty threatening movement. Let's keep them back until we... I don't know what to do about that. I'm just here to kill trucks, man. And they can spot for itself, so that's very useful.
Let's advance with these guys, see what they can do in these last couple of minutes. Now we can fast forward because we don't have all day, of course. Those kills now, right? When, right when we don't need them as much, we're starting to get those kills. And they're, starting, they're launching a couple of simultaneous attacks here and here. It looks like at the same time. We could have gotten their combat. Stop, Richard. You guys are taking too much fire already. Good lord. I want you to go up here and kill that combat with your machine guns if you can, seriously. Doesn't look like we have any AT guns either. Which is a little sus, but... I guess, yes, that's the way it is. Whoa there, laddie, don't get blown up by the... Okay, kill that thing at all costs. I don't actually know what that means. I understand the commander system, but I think the AI might not actually use it at all. So it might not be a point. Oh boy, they're rushing me. They're rushing. successful than really could have been expected here in this match. Nice. Given the pretty significant threats we faced, I, I did not expect a major victory, especially not only such light, light losses. Whew. Man, they must have been expecting be softened up after that, but no, not at all. This threat is much more serious here. That is not good. And they could easily use aircraft for this, too. This is the only place they could probably use them effectively. I hope they've already suicided them all. In fact, it's likely that they will break through in this sector. This is a turn where we spent a lot of a lot of time moving up, consolidating, grabbing new positions where we can, and they have been fighting as hard as they can to take back those positions uh, wherever we step up. Like here, we were here, the guy stepped up, and now he's under attack. I'm not sure where these guys took losses. Um, I don't remember. That would have been two turns ago. These are at full strength. These are at full strength. This is full strength. It's easy to forget. These are all full strength. You know, a lot of these civilians units are 100% combat ready. 
full strength here. Almost full strength, like more than 90%. Full strength, full strength. You know, I mean, a lot of these. The artillery did suffer some, but still, I mean, it's easy to forget just how many guys that they have at their disposal. Even somewhere as small as this, these are all just four full strength rifle regiments are worth, you know, 6,000. These guys are 600, so. Let's defend the best that we can. Here's the Sturmy. I haven't gotten a chance to use them. I want to, though. The, the Sturmy. Okay. Just two rifle regiments, nothing else. Nothing more. This is an area I'm very familiar with for defense, but we only have one anti-tank gun. Oh, just kidding, we have five. Thank goodness. Okay, we have five anti-tank guns. This is a, an unusual setup for me, but let's put an anti-tank gun here. Let's put one here. Let's get one anti-tank gun here, here. This is an unusual game. We won't have any in here. Now I'll put one there. I don't know if, yeah, I, we're gonna have to limit ourselves for sure. Holy cow, and we're down to five men now. <laughs> so let's get rid of the spotter. We're gonna need something a little, a little more, a little strong, a little stronger than that. Holy cow, 23 Kavari in this. Oh, I see, this is made from uh, dismembered groups. It's like, wow, that is a whole lot of Kavari. And uh, where are my machine guns? Okay, we still have all 12 intact. That is about the bare minimum that I can deploy, in my opinion. This is thin. In fact, let's not have him there. I want a serious unit in there instead. You know, just in case something gets through, which is not unlikely. Let's launch this battle and try to see what we're going to do here. Not sure why it's got me on the chrono there. It's making me wait. And I have no idea why. We're not paused. That is odd. You guys can skip forward slightly. I don't know why this is the case. I'll be taking a very brief break. Intermission. Talk amongst yourselves.
Alright, it started. One third speed. I've never used this speed before. Interesting to know that it exists. You stopped at this instant. Sir, I demand that you cease and assist your activity there. Oh God. I'm paying the price for my lack of AT here. Definitely cancer. to fall back, hate to tell you that, but uh, everybody's got a retreat there. Some problems here. All right, we've got one. An enemy, 76.2 mil, parking themselves right here. So use your. Uh, use your grenade to deal with it. Get off the streets. Oh my gosh. Just retreat, man. My lord. Kessu. 
Ollaan huonossa paikassa. Voitko tykkiä? Oh, no, 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 no. Auta pois täältä! Oh, no, no, no. Kiväärit valmiina. This is solidly the roughest time I've had on this map. I've never been out fox like this. Even like the only time that I've been pushed back to where I am now, which is going to be right here, this line on the hill, here, and like in here, was when they. Uh, The only time this has happened is when they had a huge amount of tanks. Ryhmä valmiina, kessu. Pää pysytti. Käsky kävi. Turvattu, kun ei muunnelkaa ohjeita. Mä oon se liikkeellä. Liian kova tulitus. No. Can't afford this garbage. This garbage. Because we basically, it's almost as if they had a huge force of tanks. We've lost fire superiority. We can't shoot long range because those infantry guns. So we're gonna have to take them up close and personal. I think you actually need to fall back too. This is a, a disaster over here. I'm gonna have to deploy. Ah. Troops. This is the range I'm talking about here, this short range stuff. That's what we're gonna have to do. First, let's get this ridge back. This is our ridge, damn it. Soviet rifle squad, the Strug DP. Good. And they're being used well here. They're like ticks. It's possible to dig out once they're already ensconced. Tarkistakaa ampukset. Mitä 
mitä sais olla. Lääkintämies! Nyt siihen alkiin! We've got proper reinforcements. No guns, though. Yeah, that's not really what we need right now. Let's try that mixture out. Again, I let a truck get out too far ahead and they just, just perished. This entire advance force was destroyed. Two trucks again. Says. 
Integrated AT rifles are causing a lot of grief. Wow, I'm not Kavat sure how they did it, but they have liikeellä. just slaughtered me up here. It's just, you know what, it's just that they're dug in and they've got a huge amount of firepower at their disposal. Strength is engaging at range. This is what they're getting to do here. Is engage at nice long range. And the only way to do it without borders to dig them out is to like overpower them with firepower. I don't think I want to spend all that on uh, on mortars. Like three three mortars would just be would be worthwhile. It is it could be nine infantry squads for me. I don't really want to use up that much, so. Just let the battle go. Just let them have this one, and hopefully, my guys will retreat as a disorganized unit. We'll be able to face them on better terms later. We actually caught them as they moved out of the woods, and we've got better rifles now, um, and so they're actually having a little bit of an effect there.
collapse it a little bit there. Tarvitaanko Ivanan kanssa apua? Lähdetään. Nyt siihen nakkiin. Lääkintämies. Vihollinen edessä. Mitäs tehdään? Snap with us. Yeah, they just got fresh units behind them, though, that are gonna push me back. Struck here, destroying everything they see. Fortunate battle for us. Yeah, after seeing the composition of forces, I thought I had that one in the bag, but apparently not. Please don't tell me you're destroyed. Please tell me you're just falling back. Oh, disorganized. Let's go. They want is to reestablish contact here, but we've actually killed off mostly all the guys trying to reestablish contact, so they're not in a good shape there. There's not much to break through, there's not much to rescue anymore, is what I'm saying. Bombarding me here, returning the favor. They disassembled their AA, that's good to see. But I bring another heavier AA unit, put it back up. Darn. It's unfortunate. Now we've got a whole mess of my own disorganized units and theirs. In this area. Oh, actually, these are all... Oh, no, yeah. Two of these are mine. Two of these are their disorganized guys. Whew. They're getting close. But this guy will be finished fortifying. Uh, and they'll have the help of the tanks. Probably I'll be throwing them in. Let's go ahead and do our turn here, fellas, since we're on it. Come back, we'll do the Soviets next turn. We are a good way through now. Uh, and this has been a very interesting game. These guys are now dug in. Let's go, fellas. They're good to go now. Nothing, uh... It's gonna take a lot to dig them out now. You guys should have took care of that, man, when you had the chance, because they're... Dug in like ticks now. Let's move these back so these fortified guys take the brunt of any offensive. And uh, let's move this down here. Don't know what it is that what 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 the if you will the red thread is that connects these two guys together. I don't know what it is. We'll find it though. These guys can move crazy fast on these roads. This guy's only job is to accept surrenders. At this point, they're kind of fleeing from him, but this must be a bug. This guy should not be bombarded still. And honestly, it's small brain hours because I should have recognized that a lot earlier. Uh, that's that's uh, that's been a little a little long there.
these guys can accept their surrender. And uh, these fellas likewise. And finally the tanks have some movement again. They're breaking out of this hedgerow hell, if you will. This, just kidding, this is in the fortified area. They were just hung up on all those POWs. POWs to be. <laughs> the tanks are free. And these, I want these guys to come fall back. Same here, until they become reorganized. These guys should, well actually, they don't need to fall back. We'll bombard here. Um, here. Can we get you? We can, that's luck. I bombarded in the wrong order, but they still made it out. These guys are going to be the ones to dig in. This will be our new front here. We'll have to wait for them to dig in properly though. This AA is going to be deployed. Just kidding, we're moving it up right here. This area needs to be covered. That was a mistake on my part. This guy won't, won't be fortified per se, but they can draw reinforcements from him when they need it during the battle. Already coming down. They deconstructed their AA again, though, which is good for us. I'm so used to seeing this organized tag on enemy units, so it's a little disconcerting to see them on mine. We have their airfield now. Holy cow, they've got a lot of air units, uh, but not anymore. Does that register as casualties for them? don't even know. Uh, it does not. Oh well, they just disappear. These guys are far and ahead away, busting through their terrain, through their territory. tank regiment would attack on its own. So we'll fortify him here between these two lakes. And that's this front is kind of hanging in the air. I guess we could move up three guys here, two guys here. And then here it's this this kind of line would be what we'd make for defensive purposes. But I don't know if that's strictly necessary for most of it because they have almost no units around. Yeah, this area is very much in flux here. But, good to see that we have all this pinned down the way we want it. These guys are disorganized. But no attack will be possible. Given our units and the state of things. We actually want him down here. Assisting with the breakthrough, not up here tied up in some meaningless holding action. Uh, yep, I was going to say, I assume the 122nd has some more infantry, and they do. And this guy, I think, let's see what the conditions for attack would be here. These two, I'm expecting to have in the battle, but everything else that I can, I want to cut out of the equation. So let's start with this 170th Rifle Division. Is there any way to immobilize that thing? I want it gone. Well, all this guy can do is hit this. You know what? If they kind of send us on, that's actually just fine. You guys have no artillery, of course. Nice, got him. Yeah, that, he wouldn't be able to do much there. 
let's see what else there is. A whole lot. Anything here that I could take out I see would be useful, but there's no more A phase that will intervene except for this. Which we will duly uh, eliminate from the equation. It's whatever unit I was doing it with before. These guys. Since the heavy already gives them that extra range. That that can be done though. We are really screwing up their ability to react. Um, and this stuff we can take it or leave it. I mean, it's no big deal. Let us, let us immobilize these Katushas, though. Oh, we're on it. And they've castled one of these down. And I don't have an arty gun to deal with it, so we'll have to figure out a way to take care of that. Can 11th Divisiona... Uh, just infantry, right? Yeah, no artillery. If I could just drop... Oh, there we go. No, we do have a light artillery regiment there. Having this, look at this, it's actually going to have me gain ground on their line. <laughs> Let us prepare an assault on this location. A little bit leery, um, considering the amount of tanks that they have. Uh, oh wow, this thing could actually intervene. And let's get some uh, tank, uh, tank busting aircraft. This close support wing in. You know, in fact, I want to take the fighters with the rockets, the SAP rockets. I've never used these before, so. They should be fun. And that's if those tanks come. And we can use it against the RD2 if needed. We're going to give these guys a hard time. And it's all this effort, like multiple battalions, like six battalions of artillery, aircraft squadrons, all this infantry tying them up, and the only, the only purpose of this being to um, knock out one infantry regiment of like 122 men or something. What's there? Yeah. Yeah, their optics are, are very low. This battlefield is one of the worst for tanking tank fighting, actually. I mean, this was bad when I tried it with Panzer IVs, so this is not going to be fun, frankly. Let's not use the flak. Uh, these guys can't really do much. No normal rocket units. Okay. And then here, we're just going to have a ton of Kavari that are going to swarm forward like a, a tidal wave. And I would have behooved to me to have... That's a cool design there for that fighter, that fuck a wolf. It would have behooved me to have some kind of like recomp plane, that would have helped a lot. But I did not think of it. I'm hoping the plane can like spot a little bit, but honestly I don't think that's gonna be the case at all. 
does that. I'm like, huh, now I consider the actual rules of the game. This does not, this strategy doesn't make sense at all. Ah, uh, that's actually really satisfying to hear the German. The German. It's like, oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Pioneer, take care of that. Uh, and Kivos. We can kind of spot their pockets of resistance. Commandant, I haven't seen you in a long time. Wow, that is nice to hear. No resistance encountered as of yet. We're seeing like evidence of resistance, like the stiffening of the front line, but no actual resistance as of yet. She got like no leaders out, so this is completely useless. Oh, we have first enemy contact. So excited, just go ahead and bomb it. Yeah, you got this, man. There's nothing else for you to kill, so go at it. Oh man, what did you do? Why are you... Oh, he ran out of fuel. defend our front line that we're developing now. Ooh, these guys lost all of their Kavari escort. Ouch. That is unfortunate. Just psst of that G42. Even though it might be destroyed in a second. It's still comforting. Was gibt's Leitstelle? Test ist der große Ausblick der Luftsache. Quick, get that defeat before they start pouring in reinforcements. Yeah. 
Quick boys, grab those flags. Back in Demiath. This route and this route are going to be pretty heavily fortified by the time I'm done here. You're capturing several major flags. This battle's actually going to end before they can do anything. I thought that they'd have a spot where they'd start getting reinforcements for about a minute or two before the game was over, but that never happened. Oh, nope, just a mortar. You two will now meet your maker. I used the squadron, so had to get some use out of it sometime. Ooh, they got that flag. We won't capture it. <laughs> she just, oh, we got it right there at the end. Zero flags for them. Total victory. This is a 100% victory for us. Whew. And those, uh, those, those penal troops got two of my Kavari. Ouch. Seems right, there wasn't really much to kill. That's an interesting frontline thing. Now the question is, I thought I might be able to dig in, but... It looks like they might just get attacked next turn instead. So it's like, what do? <laughs> what do? Let's hope they can hold off so they can dig in. Unfortunately, they're still inside that umbrella of air cover, and now we're, we're right at the gates of Viborg, essentially. Which is guarded by a full-strength enemy unit, but still. You know, we're, we're close. 
I think we should expect some enemy frontal attacks on this battle group. Uh, maybe. We'll, we'll see. Uh, this has changed. Our, I assume they were well, reluctant to attack because they, they knew their guy might just get wrecked. Bring up a little a little bit of room for our guys to maneuver. These are some experienced fellas here as well. These Ratsupi with these uh, La Haiti Salaranta M26. That this is all native gear except for this, which is German. The named ones are always the elite. And I got another named unit here. Not this one. The Hame Cavalry Regiment. It'd be kind of cool if they added horses in the game for cavalry, it, you know, just to move and cheer around fast. It would be, it's kind of like trucks, you know. It would be pretty hard, though, to, to have horses in the game, so I don't blame them for not implementing that at this moment or ever. <laughs> but that'd be interesting. It looks like that's going to be in the, the video, guys. Um, made some progress, held them off just by a hair in some spots. Um, and mostly just consolidated our positions that we gained and then moved I don't know how many, this is about 7 kilometers, 8 kilometers closer to Vyborg which is a big deal considering the massive guys they have there it's a big deal we got that far so I, I would like to see them attack this sector t so that they can weaken themselves so I can get into Vyborg I'd love to see them attack here though, just for any reason because I mean I want to use these anti-tank guns <laughs> frankly and this flak on the enemy and, and use German troops that's why I moved these guys up right here this is actually a very weak infantry unit I should realize that because a lot of their it's only 164 men and it's like you know, recon a lot of it these guys are recon but at least they're infantry um, but I've got some actual Finnish troops backing them up so they should be able to fare all right. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, yeah, here we got pushed back. It's going to... Man, I'm excited to see what happens here when we get... When we hit this. I don't know if this is going to pin them off or not. Or if it's here. Or if we have to sever it here for them to be cut off. But I'm looking forward to... Or even here. Then these guys would be my only threat. But this is a lot. This is oh, an entire core. This is 10,000 men. Uh, but... That's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Star Destroyer Game, and uh, signing off.